I'm going to show you the full guide how you can completely unsuspend your Merge Center from the misread presentation error. So you go from the notification that looks like this to an unsuspension email which is stating the requested review of your Merge Center account has been completed and no longer appears in your Merge Center account. If you watch until the end of this video, you will make sure this happens as fast as possible in your Merge Center account. I've helped in total more than 300 merchant centers get unsuspended in the last couple of years, so I know exactly what strategies work nowadays. Without further ado, let's dive right into my screen, and if you want to download the updated merchant center framework, make sure to check out the link in the description. All right, so there we are in the full guide how you can completely unsuspend your merchant center account. So you see from the misrep presentation error, your products will turn green after watching this full video and implement everything what is necessary according to the latest Google merchant center policies. This checklist contains several points that you need to follow to comply with the rules and regulations. Let's start with number one. All of them are even important, so watch until the end of this video so I can clarify everything and you can literally copy and paste all the information which is stated in this full guide. So first of all, you need to start with some general checks. Your business email needs to be verified and working so customers can uh, implement and email you if they have any questions regarding their order. The broken links are very important, so it's not allowed to have any broken links uh, on your website. The page speed needs to be optimized and all links that are important are including in this full guide, so make sure to grab it from the link in the description. Uh, the website security needs to be good, so you can check it with VirusTotal. Um, the HTTP and SSL certificate need to be on point, so you can check it on the link in the description here as well. Uh, your business phone number needs to be working and ringing if potential customers are trying to contact you. Uh, your business address format needs to be in the same order as which is stated here. Uh, this is very important uh, when it comes down to transparency for Google. So you need to have your street the name, your number, your city, the state or province that your business is registered, your zip code and the country that you are registered in with the business. Uh, if you have Google Maps listing, you can list it on your website as well. The main menu and footer menu need to be visible on the top uh, of your website and at the footer. Um, your shipping and returns need to be very clear. So you need to state exactly how long it takes for the shipping um, of the products from the warehouse to the clients, uh, how long it takes uh, for them to return the product and how many days they have to change their mind and return the products, for example, uh, who's actually paying for the returns and so on. Uh, I've included also step-by-step -step, uh, templates that you can literally copy and paste in the premium version of this checklist. And also the payment methods you need to implement uh, so people can see exactly what payment methods they can use when it comes down to checking out uh, with your website. And basically all that Google wants is that you are 100% transparent. So you need to show exactly who you are, how your servers work, how people can order products from your website with the right policies. So that is basically the idea in mind. Uh, Google want a clear and a positive visit on your website for the people that they send from the Google ads uh, to your website. So therefore everything uh, you need to be implemented in your account, what is stated in this checklist. So now we go to step number two, which is the header requirements for your website. This needs to be absolutely on your website to get verified in the Merchant Center in the first place. So first of all, your homepage needs to be in the menu. Uh, second of all, you need to link to all your products uh, so people can easily navigate through the menu uh, to the right products on your website. The About Us page, it's optional, but it's highly recommended nowadays to gain extra trust and transparency with who people are dealing with uh, in terms of your business and where it's registered. Uh, you need to show your contact details so people can exactly see how they can contact you. And this needs to be in multiple forms, such as your email address, your phone number, a contact form, or even a live chat is a nice bonus to have. And also uh, optional but recommended, uh, track your order page in the header menu. Uh, it's highly suggested, again, for transparency, so potential clients can understand where to track their order if they buy from you. All right, and that brings us to point number three. Uh, if you want to have this template, make sure to click the link in the description as well so you can copy and paste uh, and read all the information there at your own time. I will be going through it as fast as possible so to save you time and you can invest this time to get life up and running even faster. So on implement number three, uh, the website pages and the contact options need to be as following. Uh, the products must not break the Google's rules. So you need to be aware that you cannot sell counterfeit products or fake brands, uh, dangerous goods such as knives or weapons or any other things like that, or any other banned items uh, that we cannot mention right here. Uh, the contact page need to contain several uh, things. Uh, as I already explained, the right format of stating your address, 
Also, you need to state the customer service hours. So when are you available to be contacted by your potential customers? Uh, the FAQ page needs to be visible so people can see exactly what kind of frequently asked questions you already have. Uh, then we have a bunch of things that are important uh, when it comes down to the policy pages. So for example, in the privacy policy, you need to explain something about the cookies and how you handle them, uh, such as for uh, advertising platforms like Meta, Google, and this needs to include also your contact email again at the bottom of the page. Um, then you need to go to your shipping policy. So you need to state exactly uh, how long it takes for the shipping uh, of the package um, to the doorstep of the client that orders from you and also the delivery time and the contact details. So if they have any questions, uh, they can contact you in the details in the shipping policy and they can see, for example, the fulfillment time and the shipping time when it comes down to their order. Uh, then the payment policy is also very important. So what uh, exact payment methods can clients use on your website and uh, what are, for example, extra percentage that are being charged um, when it comes down to credit card and such information. Again, just add your contact details uh, when potential visitors uh, can contact you if they have any questions. The terms of service need to be linked as well. So a link to all your policies, if possible, in the contact page. Uh, so it's very important to be transparent again on the contact page because it's a very important uh, page on your website and needs to build trust, not only for your potential visitors to turn them into clients, but also in terms of Google. So therefore just link it in the contact page as well. Uh, show your tracking order page on the contact page as well. It's very important and the checkout page need to be visible and up and running as well. So then we go already to step number four, the website footer requirements. So in the website footer, you need to have a bunch of uh, templates, uh, which you can copy and paste here if you go to the Notion framework. Uh, I've implemented them so you can easily copy and paste them on your website and they're up and running for the latest Google standards. So make sure to check them out as well. I'm not going over them one by one because you can simply copy and paste them here and to save you all some time. Uh, but in the footer, you need to implement uh, the privacy policy, the shipping policy, the return policy, the payment policy, the terms of service, uh, the contact us details, uh, the customer support details, the about us page, the track your order page. Uh, you need to must have a company name and logo in the website footer. You need to link the frequently asked questions, the social media profiles. This one is optional, but highly uh, suggested to gain extra trust in terms of Google uh, as well to get your account back faster. And you can also link this social media profiles in your merchant center. So that's why it's stated here as well to show that it's important. And last but not least, the payment icons need to be visible in the website footer for extra trust as well. So that brings us to point number five, the website compliance and the quality. Uh, as I said to you, you need to have at least this policy pages linked in your website as well. Uh, it's very important to also not show fake trust badges. So make sure to watch out with fake reviews, uh, award badges, uh, press mention, such as different magazines and so on. And five stars rating that you actually didn't get, but that you sneakily implement to boost your conversion rate. It's better to remove them during the Merchant Center checks and later down the line, if you get some valid star reviews, just implement them again. Also, you need to make sure that in the Merchant Center account, your tax is stated correctly uh, for the right countries and that you mention such things in your account uh, as well. And watch out with over-promising and misleading tax. So watch out with the trigger words also, like the cheapest or guaranteed results or risk-free or guaranteed things like that, uh, because it triggered the algorithm to suspend your account for the misrepresentation error. And also for the legal pages, as I said, you can copy and paste them from this Notion document as well. So that brings us to point number six already. Um, in the Merchant Center, you need to do a bunch of things in the Merchant Center account. You need to, first of all, as step number 6.1, claim and verify your domain name. So make sure to do that in your Merchant Center account. Uh, your shipping policy needs to be set, which is stating how long the delivery takes, how long the fulfillment takes, uh, and how many days people can return their order, as the return policy is clear for 6.3 as well. And also for 6.4, the business information about your business and your registration is 100% matching with your website front end, website back end, and in your Merchant Center account. So these are the most important things when it comes down to your Merchant Center account and everything that you need to implement. Make sure to check the link in the description as well for this framework because I continuously keep updating it because the Merchant Center requirements are changing every week up about. So also when it comes down to the extra attention points, you must double check that everything is working to give the visitor a clear and a good trustworthy experience on your website. 
So therefore, you need to check that all your payments methods are actually working. Uh, your checkout process is actually working, must be bug free. So no weird things in there. Just try to uh, check out for your own website. Make sure to add the contact page links uh, to all the uh, legal pages as well to be 100% transparent. Uh, make sure to link your Google Ads account to your Merchant account to gain extra trust and make sure to have a working payment method in your Google Ads account as well. Because the more trust you are as a verified advertiser, the more likely they are going to unsuspend your Merchant Center account. As well as the business information uh, and name and logo must be matching everywhere on your front end back end merchant center account and in your google ads account so that's very important and also double check your email address because it happens a lot that the email address is sometimes not working or that people add an extra dot behind their email address such as in the sample as you can see here uh, then, then the algorithm have a hard time of uh, recognizing the email address that you implement so therefore it's very important to fix as well so that brings us to step number eight uh, this is exactly how you need to state your business information so make sure to go to this document in the link in the description and literally copy and paste this format on your website so you need to have street name the street number um, actually the house number uh, the city the state or province the zip code and the country uh, your email with a hyperlink as this uh, the contact form the phone number where you are reachable and must be working uh, the company number uh, the tax number if you have any and the operational hours when it comes down to the customer service as well so then last but not least, we come to the most important things. By now you fixed all your website, you're ready to go into a review. But nowadays this strategy changed a lot and you cannot just simply hit the review button in your account. There is a better way to go over this. As I state here, go to this exact link, supportgoogle.com, uh, merchants, contact and the suspended. You can click on the link in this Notion document and go there. You explain exactly what you have been fixing on your website. So how it was and, and how you implement it right now. So you, you show that you understand how these policies work. You implement everything for a good potential and high quality visit from the uh, Google visitor. Uh, so it shows that you are caring uh, how people are using your website and in terms of the privacy, the rules and regulations from Google. So that's very important to uh, implement the strategy exactly like here. Um, to show that you are preparing your website according to the newest Google Merchant Center policies so that you give them literally all the reasons to unsuspend your account as we are stating here. Uh, this strategy has been working for more than 300 accounts already uh, before unblocking yours so make sure to check it out in the link in the description. So that was the full guide how to completely unsuspend your Merchant Center from the Miss Web Presentation error. So now you basically have two options. You can either invest your own time and energy into trying to find and potentially fix the misrep presentation error with the guide I just explained, or you have the option to reach out to me and my team where we help you get the suspension lifted from your Merchant Center account. And after checking the link in the description with this updated Notion template, make sure to check the recommendation video after this where I explain exactly how you can use AI on the front end of your business and if it's even possible according to the rules and regulations of Google Ads and Merchant Center. So make sure to check that super important video out as well. I see you there.